Happy Thursday, Tatum Ridge. We are so glad you are joining us on TNN on this Thursday, May 14th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of, the, of United the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under, under God, God, indivisible, for liberty, liberty and justice, and for, justice all. for all. You may now be seated. Our Tatum teachers were so surprised and thankful for all the wonderful shout outs for Teacher Appreciation Day. A huge thank you goes out to everyone. Please be on the lookout for information regarding drop off of T Tatum Library books, Teacher's Classroom books, Sarasota, Sarasota County computers, pick up for grade levels, gradu graduation for fifth grade, and so many more end of the year events. It's time to give a shout out to everyone celebrating birthday. On Monday, May 11th, Lucas in kindergarten, Presley in second grade, and Benjamin in kindergarten. On Tuesday, May 12th, Ariana in second grade, Chloe in third grade, Bastian in fourth grade, and Liliana in second grade. On Wednesday, May 13th, Aiden in third grade. On Thursday, May 14th, Mateo in fourth grade. On Friday, May 15th, Matthew in fifth grade. And on Saturday, May 16th, Grayson in fourth grade. Have a happy, happy birthday from TNN. Since school has been taking on a whole new look these past few months, we have started wondering, how exactly did school get started? The first schools in the 13 colonies of the United States opened in the 17th century. The Boston Land School was the first public school opened in the United States in 1635. To this day, it remains the nation's oldest public school. Early public schools did not focus on academics like math or reading. Instead, they taught virtues of family, religion, and community. Girls were usually taught how to read, but not how to write in early America. By the mid-19th century, academics became the sole responsibility of public schools. In the South, public schools were not common during the 1600s and the early 1700s. Affluent families paid private tutors to educate their children. Public schooling in the South was not widespread until the Reconstruction era after the American Civil War. Common schools, or school as we know it today, emerged in the 18th century. These schools educated students of all ages in one room with one teacher. Students did not attend these schools for free. Parents paid tuition, provided housing for the school teacher, or contributed other commodities in exchange for their children to be allowed to attend the school. I'd say we have come a long way. That's all we have for today at TNN. We miss you, Tatum Ridge. We hope you have a great day and enjoy your weekend. <laughs>